Hello friend, in this video tutorial we will learn about serialization and deserialization and we will check with use of serial version UID with real time example. So first we will learn about the serialization process. So in simple word I can say convert object and state into a white of stream. So you can see here this is the serialization process. So this is the object we are converting object into a byte of stream then we can write that object into the file memory or database for writing of it we can use a methods like uh, write object and all we will learn about that with practical and we, if we will talk about the deserialization process so deserialization just a reverse process means recreate object from white of stream into object your actual object so you can see from the file system they just can read the white of stream and convert your object into the original one so this process called deserialization then how deserialization process think about i am doing correct object i mean here i am converting white of stream into the correct object so how so there is one id we can say serial version uid we will learn about with practical on that so let's and as i noticed one more advantage of this entire process serialization and deserialization is that the byte of stream is a platform independent so the object serialization serialized on one platform can be deserialized on a different fraud platform so now we will check with the help of practical so as i created the project and i just created the class this is the employee class right i just want to convert this uh, employee object into the white of stream first so this is the serialization process then i'll just uh, convert byte of stream into the object so for uh, achieving this process we need to implement the interface called serial serializable so i implemented the serializable interface and here you can see i just getting the warning and if i will like the, over the mouse on it then you can see we having some suggestion provided by the eclipse id so use the you add default serial version id add generated serial version id so this is up to us but yeah if i don't want to add the serial version id right i just having this and just this object i am writing into the file so for that i had created the class just give me a moment i'll come with that code okay so I just created the class meanwhile and just I'm using the methods only read object and write object read object method just reading the uh, object from the file system and write object method just writing the object inside the file system so first I just created the two methods serialized object and deserialized object so first I just going to serialize the object so with default serial version ID I just I did not provided the any serial version ID so at runtime JVM will manage that serial version ID and I'll we will see what is that uh, like uh, advantage and what is the use of that serial version ID and uh, like uh, generated serial version ID so, okay so we will run, run this example so i just calling the serialized uh, object method so just i am creating the record of employee class and just passing the id one soft coder is the name and uh, gmail id xyz right and uh, just i am using some methods uh, like from the io object uh, output stream for writing the object inside the file so i just given the file name as this right employee details dot ser so now and uh, yeah and after that i am writing this object right in that file so i'll run this now for you can not see even any file here this will generate at that location so i'll run this application okay 
so employee object has been serialized right then i what i i'll refresh this project so you can see this files has been created and object has been serialized so in in general they used like uh, for uh, if we are not providing the custom serialized id we are not generating so default like that are generated by the jbm will use some package name a class name and interface and methods as well and on the based on that they create the serial version uid but what is the things with it suppose i just um, like serialize this object now i am going to deserialize this object right so if i'll deserialize I, i'll call the deserialize method then i'll get that object from the file let me check so you'll got i provided this one this one this one this one that is fine now we have come now let's see now we have suppose employee this and just uh, I, I can delete this file no problem we will generate again okay and i am running i am again serializing this object and run it it's generated right i will refresh it you can see this is generated with some byte of string value now what i am doing i am just adding one more field here and then i will deserialize what will happen let's see i just added one more field address here right okay and now i am deserializing the things okay previously you see we serialized and deserialized but now we just doing some changes in employee class that are already serialized and we are deserializing this right we are using deserialization and you can see we are using read object method and then converting that object into the employee and that object we are getting the value from that object so let's run it what will happen we will run the exception what exception invalid class exception so now we cannot deserialize things if you are using like a default serial version uid you are not providing the implementation for that then you cannot deserialize if you are doing any changes like this or even you are creating getter that and getter setter for that you cannot do it but if i will use the customized serial version id here just like i use this then i suppose I also delete this. Now I am running this application test. I just do the serialization for that first, and then I will deserialize, right? It is the deserialized. Now I will refresh it. And now I, what I am doing? I just adding. Let's see what will happen with this. Now you can visualize it. So if you are not uh, like uh, uh, using the serial version ID or you just uh, this given opportunity to for JVM it can generate at runtime, then if you are changing the anything in a class then it will not uh, deserialize your object but you have the like a uh, serial version UID as a custom as we are using here right now then you can after doing your changes you can do it so this is the things even suppose I uh, first I am doing the serialization process I am doing the serialization process and I uh, after for, uh, I serialized and I will change the origin ID and then you will try to deserialize it it will not deserialize it will give the same kind of error so all serializations and deserialization based on the serial version uid right so this was the uh, topic of uh, this was the topic of today and then we will in next uh, like video we will learn about the externalization and use of it how can we do the version
see you in the live sessions. Thanks for watching it.